Good morning, I'm Dawn Richardson. I want to share a little bit more with Divine Masculines today. Um, I see a lot of information out there um, and sometimes the information that you may run across does not help you to be in formation. In other words, really paying attention to your own process. Um, so the very first and most important thing I want to say right off the bat to you who um, may click on this video is, is please just do your own work, be on your own journey, trust yourself, know that your intuition will lead you, call upon God, uh, upon your you know teachers and guides, upon the life itself, upon your own, but, but above all else, Feel into your heart and trust yourself to know what is right for you. I think that's really important because there are a lot of people that can give you advice, but only you know what's right for you. So um, this video, I'm going to share, um, I think there are 11 things, um, which is a great number for Twin Flames, 11 things um, to know about uh, the Twin Flame journey from the feminine perspective. These ideas are mine. They are, um, they are simply things that I have. They reflect my own understanding about the Twin Flame Union based on my own experience and what I have been shown um, directly by spirit. Um, it is not, I don't, I don't work with, um, I don't provide coaching for those um, on this journey currently. I absolutely do not um, read, I don't read cards. I mean, I have cards, but I, and I watch occasionally, but you know, it's not my thing. And so I, I don't have any special interest here except to serve and um, to share, to share my heart in, in the hope that someone will find it beneficial. So here you go. Here are 11 things. Um, so the first three are four. The first four things are really around one central concept, and that is we feel you. Okay. So many of us um, are quite attuned. We have uh, unique gifts and we um, those have been something that we've had to come to grips with in our lives and to really understand so these first four things that you need to know are around that concept and it's just something for you to be aware of none of this none of what I'm sharing is intended um, towards any certain outcome whatsoever your choices are your choices we feel you when you think of us or send a kind thought, we feel that. So also, when you direct your anger or rage toward us, even when you know we're 2,000 miles away, we feel that. Twins are connected at the level of body, mind, heart, and soul. It doesn't matter the distance that we pretend exists between us. We are one soul, you know, and we are united. And there is that eternal uh, infinity loop that runs between us. The energy is always being exchanged. We are always in communication if we are, remain open to that. Um, so in the same way that we hear and feel thoughts and emotions that you have toward us, there have likely been times, if your connection was open, that you've experienced the same. Um, number two, we feel you. When you punish yourself with addictions and other self-defeating or diminishing behaviors, we feel that too. Some of us, I would say the vast majority of us feel it on some level to some degree. And um, those of us who are extremely sensitive feel it uh, pretty deeply. And so not only does this delay any work that we're called to do together, um, whether that be in the physical 3D every day or whether that be energetically, you know, as we are moving through this life in our own ways, whatever. If you are, you know, immersing yourself in addictive behaviors um, and things that are that are really intended to distance you from you, that can take uh, a heavy toll on both of us. So in the same way, there um, have pre probably been times when you have 
uh, sensed or felt energetically some choice by your divine counterpart that went against her soul truth. And so this is, um, you know, all of this is sort of, it's double-edged sword, you know, there are many ways that it is a gift. And so I um, choose to to see it as a gift to calm me back when I'm feeling that um, that energy um, from my divine counterpart to call me back to me to be really an anchor of light and life and love and to to the best of my ability to send him the same and so and that's what you can do when you experience that um, if you are not in um, physical union with your divine part partner <clears throat> three we feel you <laughs> Um, okay, this one's big. When you're intimate with others, whether you're sharing love with them or just having sex, um, even if that is a spouse or a soulmate, many of us feel that too. So in the same way, you might be able to, to feel when your divine counterpart makes a choice to share herself with another. And this is because we are so deeply connected and we are one soul energy that... Um, but that's um, that's just how it is. So um, that is not to put any at all any guilt or shame on you. It's all beautiful, and it's just something to be aware of, though. And I suppose that um, it's something that we each have to decide for ourselves. Um, you know, I'll just speak for myself here for a moment. I don't know where I am with this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, my situation has been unique. I was in, um, yeah, I think I won't talk about that right now, actually. All right, let me move on. We feel you. This is uh, number four. When you could use a friend or when your heart is hurting and when we're open to our divine connection, we are able to be there with you beside you. So we may come in dream time or in ordinary moments and we may be sending healing energy in those times um, or loving thoughts or we may simply walk through the woods carrying you in our hearts as we do. So in the same way you may if you choose be a joy and comfort in our lives even when we are not physically united. So our capacity to love one another um, and as we love one another, really serve humanity, is expanded when we are in physical union. At the same time, what I would say in my own experience, um, having not had that um, for all these years, is that it is um, quite impactful and quite strong. It is a gift we both were given. Um, and when we choose to use our energy and our power to harness it and channel it into love and into um, kindness and loving kindness that has a direct impact on our, each of us individually and on all of those lives that we encounter there there's most definitely a ripple effect that is more like a huge like wave that has the potential to change for really really uh, big um, change the way that I've been shown it. Okay, let's move on. The next set, um, this is number five, and the next set um, has to do with this. This is not just about physical reunion for the two twins. So the first thing I want to share, number five here, is that we've been entrusted with wisdom codes um, and the capacity to embody higher consciousness in order to bring heaven to earth by becoming a portal for the flow of light and life and love. And this can happen through our natural energetic connection in the fifth dimension. By the way, I am looking at my notes today because I just want to be sure that I touch on um, on all of this. So if it looks like I'm <laughs> looking around, that's what I'm doing. Um, so we've, we're here, we are here literally to anchor all of the divine energies on earth. It is a gift that we have been given. Now, I do believe all people can 
absolutely with their their choices and their energy choose to do that um, and be a portal for light and life and love um, as they understand that that is who they are um, and we come in with that understanding deep in our souls that is loud and clear if we choose to listen now many of us um, were born into circumstances or have encountered life situations that made it really easy to shut that down quick. Um, and yet, well, my understanding and what I am very clear on is our purpose. We have many different missions and different um, jobs, if you will, here on earth, um, on the, the spiritual level um, and the physical, obviously. Um, but essentially, we are here to bring heaven to earth. And we, in these divine unions, sacred unions, have been given access to something really extraordinary. And it's completely up to us in what way we choose to bring that forward um, and to what degree um, we allow it. So this can happen. Like We can do this, bring heaven to earth, through our natural energetic connection in the fifth dimension um, and it's greatly enhanced and expanded I believe when we ground it in a physical union it's also probably a lot more challenging from what I hear and um, so I'm not saying this is like easy um, I do think there are many many beautiful gifts um, however and both the masculine counterpart and the feminine counterpart and by the way I just want to I think most of you probably know this but masculine and feminine um, it can be male and female. It can, you know, it can be any kind of relationship though. One is embodying the masculine energy and one is embodying the feminine energy. And so both, each one, each of the, the two counterparts bring a unique flavor or interpretation through their life experience, their personalities, their preferences to these wisdom codes and to uh, the knowing that they are intended to share with the world and to really ground here now on earth in this time space reality. So, you know, we see our lives from a certain perspective, don't we? And, um, and that can be uh, somewhat limiting because what we came here to do extends beyond into the cosmos and it is um, very purposeful. So the love that is grounded uh, when two twins are in physical union, it, it naturally naturally leads others um, in the direction of unconditional love. And it opens up a whole new way um, for people to see themselves, be themselves, and free themselves. Um, and much of my work, um, my writing, my books revolve around these concepts um, and my uh, 90 Days to Life, which is on my website, dawnrichardson.com. So a whole new way of seeing yourself, a whole new way of being yourself, a whole new way of freeing yourself. So for that to happen, of course, the two individuals have to really get to that um, either on their own journeys um, whether they come back together or whether they remain on their own journeys um, or, and um, as they are uh, interacting together, again, both levels, both planes. Actually, it's not both. It's many. It's many dimensions. We are uh, literally connected through all time and space forever lifetimes lifetimes so um, okay next one let's move on um, so number six I believe we're on this is not just about physical reunion for the two twins it is also about healing ancestral lines so I believe our lineage and future generations benefit from our choice to honor God and one another so this is true for any union any sacred partnership most definitely um, and uh, it is particularly uh, true in twin flame unions where the masculine and the feminine counterpart naturally share soul memories in most cases um, and um, actually in all cases they share soul memories in in most cases I would say there's been you know um, past life sort of connection um, and that's fine if you don't believe in, in uh, past lives just know that the my point is that you carry long ancient memories and they are embedded within you whether you lived them yourself or whether they are a knowing that was given to you granted to you by God and so um, this 
healing of our uh, ancestral lines, our lineage, is really important. It's important for the healing of humanity. Okay, and the healing of humanity begins when we restore our souls individually. Now that's true for anyone. And in sacred unions, sacred divine partnerships that have been blessed um, and intended for this special purpose, our ability, capability to by through our own healing, through our own willingness to make this journey, we are freeing um, humanity from uh, patterns and behaviors and beliefs that have long uh, kept us from experiencing our full humanity and our full divinity. Next one. This is not just about physical reunion for the two twins. It is about redefining what it means to love one another and expanding that in a way that reaches higher, takes us deeper, and raises the vibration of love that is possible on this planet. So above all else, it's about the full reclamation and the radiant realization of true love and the purity of the human heart. So both the masculine and the feminine bring great learning, um, their own unique great learnings um, together that, that they have, you know, they've gone through some things. Um, they've learned and um, hopefully they have integrated that within themselves in their hearts and souls. And through that experience um, of having lived through that and then through the relationship itself, and through seeing that divine mirror right there, um, you know, you can't ignore it. Um, and, or, you know, if you, if you are a twin flame, you will know you are a twin flame. You may try to run and hide from it. You may try to just think that's ridiculous. Or you may try to, you know, like, hey, I'm a twin flame. Let's fix this. <laughs> so um, I think all of us have, you know, um, have, have to work through that for ourselves. Um, and... When, as we integrate all of these, all of these beautiful lessons, we are given the opportunity to learn. We bring that to our work together. Okay, and so the last one that has to do with this is not just about physical reunion for the two twins. Is that we are here? I believe wholeheartedly to usher in a new experience of humanity that that absolutely honors our full divinity. This one can be scary for a lot of people. Um, I think there was probably a time when I was like, hmm, I knew it, but I was like, oh, that doesn't, that's not, that can't be right here. can't believe I hear shh. <laughs> um, so both the masculine counterpart and the feminine counterpart bring together their unique experiences of recognizing their, the truth of their own divine nature to their work together. Um, and again, work together can be work physically in proximity together. It can be um, a marriage partnership. It can be some other form of physical relationship, or it can also be energetically. Um, okay, so the next um, set, let me just go with the um, next one. What number are we on? 11, 10, 9, I think. Um, so 9. We share a vision for something the world has never seen. And to see the signs that point us toward that, we must have eyes to see. So how does this happen? We open our eyes to see when we reconnect to our essential self. So you come here to life bearing sacred seeds of essence, something that's uniquely yours. And you also share these soul seeds with your twin. Um, they're, they're not the same, and yet they are um, connected, um, at least in my experience from what I've seen. Sometimes that's not very obvious. Um, but you, regardless, you individually come here um, with who you are, is a seed meant to be planted in this world. So both twins really must be diligent in reconnecting to the light they are individually 
and then who they are together, the light they are together. So this vision is amazing. Like this is how we will open up the possibility for others to really step into a whole new way of seeing who they are is for us to walk that path to make that journey to return and reconnect to our essential selves um, and to know the light we are and then to live the light we are all right the next one in number 10 we share a heart for harmony and the gentle restoration of a symphony of soul to hear the call of love, you must have ears to hear. And so this can happen only as we really honor the essential journey that we have made. This, your singular experience of this life's voyage. And you've got to honor it all. Okay? You can't just pick and choose. And the, the parts that look pretty, you've got to honor it all. This is about wholeness. It's about walking in the way of wholeness. So both twins must really be diligent in reconnecting to the life they are, the life they've lived and the life they are individually and the life they are together. And this is how we will open up a whole new way of being for humanity is as we find ourselves individually and if we so choose to walk together together a whole new way of being in this world and uh, number 11 is to know the truth of who you are you must find your way back to your essential truth and your heart and your soul and knowing you've got to know this guys that you uh, not just guys those who embody the masculine energy you got to know that you have unprecedented access you've been sent here to share this and you have an essential truth within you that is different than everybody else's truth um, and those truths together are radiance they are expansion they are life they are love and together those truths when as they are shared they roll out like a revolution of love throughout our world and both twins really must be diligent in reconnecting to the love that they are um, individually and then to really come to honor appreciate um, and uh, share in whatever way they choose that love uh, with each other and with the world. So this is how we will introduce to humanity a whole new way of freeing yourself. We do that by freeing ourselves. We do that by, by this difficult sometimes journey that I also believe is like no other. It doesn't mean it's better. We're all different. You know, twin flames are not on, you know, they're different. We're wired differently, but it doesn't mean that there's anything superior whatsoever to anyone else. There are many, many other ways that, um, and they're just stunning. Actually, when you really look at it, it's stunning. Um, and it's clearly divinely orchestrated in my, in my way of seeing it. So, we're here to bring forward a whole new way of seeing ourselves and to do that for others. A whole new way of being ourselves and to do that for others and a whole new way of freeing ourselves and to do that for others. So those key points, um, in case you missed them, is we feel you. We feel you. So just be aware of that. Um, this is not just about physical reunion and that has its, um, its unique offering when we are in physical union um, and we share some things you know your your divine feminine and you, and you as a divine masculine have some things in common that are asking to be honored and that is a vision for something the world has never seen um, that whole new way of seeing um, a heart for harmony and a whole new way of being in the world and the truth of who we are and a whole new way of freeing ourselves so I hope this has been helpful. These were, you know, my ideas. They are 11 things um, that I know about this journey and that, um, gosh, so much love for those of us who chose this path. It's, um, as I said, it's not always easy. <laughs> Anything but that in many ways. Um, 
And yet it is such a gift. It is such a gift. It is such a gift. Even when you look at your 3D physical reality and think, I'm not getting anything from this. What the heck? You know, you know, look again and see. Okay. All right. Much love to you guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know. Um, if you want me to share a few other things, I can do that. Um, this was um, the first two videos here were, were what, um, you know, I kind of feel like the the main things were. I think I will make actually one more video for those of you who are in, um, in other relationships, um, partnerships, unions, because um, I think there are some things that aren't said. I know I'm going to make some people mad, um, but... Um, I think I'll make that video and post it um, shortly so you can check that one out soon. Um, I'm happy to keep sharing. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like I might be repeating myself after a while. So um, lots of love. Bye.